Doll maker Tracy Carthorne claims she was simply sitting in her car when the defendant crashed into the back of it. She says she made multiple attempts to settle it in person, but says each time the defendant didn't even remember who she was. Well, he'll remember her now because she is suing for $1,755. Defendant Jacob Hicks says he only lightly bumped into the back of her car and insists he didn't do the damage that she claims he caused. You are suing him because you're saying he uh, ran into your truck? Yes. I am a reborn doll artist. and I make A reborn doll artist? Yes. I make realistic dolls oh. that the look as close as possible to real infants and toddlers. And that's a doll, it's not a real person? No, it's a doll. Wow. And each doll is handmade, so each doll is a, a unique piece of art. I have a surprise for you, and I had made you a doll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a Jerry Springer Jerry. doll, and I wanted oh, to surprise man. you with it. Yes. Looks just like you, Judge. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest, I'm a doll. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good, but what does it have to do with your truck being hit? Okay, I was on my way to mail off a doll that, um, to one of my customers, and I decided to stop at a Starbucks. Is it okay if I go to the monitor? Sure, to... yeah. Okay, so I was driving That's to That's you. Yes, okay. and I made a left turn. Whoop, nice turn. And parked on a corner. Before I can get out of my car, I looked in oh. the rear view window. Jacob came, and he crashed right into me. But he was just sitting there in the car and he wasn't moving. Is it okay if I go back to Sure, sure. And so when I said maybe he's drunk, that's when he jumped up and he said, drunk? He said, I, I wasn't drunk, I'm just tired. And when the police came, um, Jacob got back in the car and he pulled up the street near where the police were at. Uh, did you get a ticket, by the way? Oh uh, yeah, I did get a fine. Oh, so you did get a ticket, okay. Yeah. And then when the police came over to me, they handed this to me. So they're just handing you what his name is, phone number, address, so you can get in touch with him. Exactly. What communication did you have with her? Um, before the incident, absolutely nothing. I you right, right, but, but the incident, what happened? Um, basically, uh, kind of bumped into her, barely, you know what I mean? Um, Were he, you going into Starbucks? Uh, no, I was actually on my way to open my friend's shop. He has a clothing store. Do you have a diagram? Yes, sir. There you go. Um, yeah, as you can see okay, here. Okay, so she's parked there, or she's yeah. moving in. Yeah, I'm coming in from this way. Um, as you can see, I come in, um, little, little bump. I did what's, hit her. What's this music? Uh, this is me, I actually make music. I'm an up-and-coming artist in Pittsburgh. Um, oh. You know what I mean, I, I do my thing. Uh, I'm trying to make it. So she you know makes I mean? dolls and you make music? We all do something, am I right? Yeah, well, I don't do anything. So my first question is, did you not see that she was in that space? Well, it was kind of weird. Um, like, she was, like, going, like, it looked like she was parking, but, like, I, I thought she might have been moving out. Um, and I really just, like, let my foot off the brake and rolled into her. I mean, I see. I didn't really hit her, but going three, four miles an hour. But you said in your statement that she was backing up. She yeah, it looked like I couldn't really tell. Did you think you were going to park there or what? You know? uh, I was just trying to pull behind her, um, and then it looked like she might have backed up a little bit. That's when I was trying to move forward, and it was a small bump, like I said, no okay. more than five miles an hour. That's, that's not what happened. I was parked, like literally parked, and I was about to get out the car yeah. when he drove down and just hit me. Do you have insurance? Uh, yeah, I did at the time. You um, do have car insurance at the yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. Did you then call your insurance um, I was I was trying to get on the phone with them. Um, the cops were kind of impatient. Um, yeah, I don't mean just, just at that moment, but in general, knowing that you hit her car. Well, no, because we actually had an agreement. Um, and what I was have that? text messages. Um, we she she was going to get a hundred dollars. I was going to just give it to her. She literally said she just doesn't want to do this. I had went to Jacob's store after the accident, and he said, "You know, I want to apologize oh, for hitting yeah. you. I'm so sorry, but can I ask you a question?" And I said, "Yes." He said. Was you in the car when I hit you? And I said, yes, I was in the car. He said, oh, I'm so sorry, are you okay? I said, yeah, I'm fine. He said, okay, well, here go my insurance information. I went home and called the phone number and they said it was gap insurance. So I contacted Jacob. I said, Jacob, this is gap insurance. This isn't regular insurance. And he said, oh, okay, well, I'm sorry. I'll just go ahead and pay for all of your damages. And I said, you know what? Since it's just a, a fender bender, I said, just give me a hundred dollars and we'll just call it even. Okay. He said, come to my store and I'll give you the hundred dollars. So the next day I went to his store 
and I walked in and he was sitting there and he looked at me and he said, may I help you? I said, you don't remember who I am? And he said, no. And I said, I'm the person you hit at Starbucks. No, <laughs> if you want me to be honest with you, Your Honor. Um, oh, well, you might as well it, be. I want to know why you didn't figure out how to get her $100. If somebody comes and says, hey, $100 and we'll call it mm -hmm. even, that's a great deal for you. I, I agree 100%. I told, her to, I told her to give me a call. Give me a heads up when you're going to come in. And I send a text and it just doesn't deliver. Um, and then I assume she blocked my number. And I see this text right here. Um, I never got this. As you can even see at the bottom of it, it doesn't say delivered. Um, so I never got that text message. I yeah. have a copy of the text where he said that he had the $100, but he said he will text me and let me know when to come pick it up. I waited four days, and he, I didn't hear from him on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and that's when I sent him the last text. Yeah. I said, I mean, like I I'm said, taking you I, to court. I tried to text her. Um, I was calling her. Um, Wait a sec. Okay. It, nothing was going through, because she must have blocked my phone. Okay. I, I didn't block Why? his number. Why were you willing to settle for 100 Because I thought it was a small um, bumper fender yeah. bender. So I, I didn't think there was that much damage done until I went and got an estimate. And they said underneath the, um, the bumper, yes. a part of the exhaust had broke when he hit it. Oh, you so just can't see it from the outside. So I was, I was about to cheat myself. As you can see also, there, though, um, if, if you look, um, you can looking. see that it's scratched on top. There's no possible way I could have got under that car and hit the exhaust. No, when you uh, hit And honestly, it, no. I, I know cars, Your Honor, and so me I, bumping something at five miles an hour, especially a Ford Explorer. Well, Judge, you have the estimate it, from um, it wouldn't the, have the, done okay, well, much the, damage. Okay, the, the body. Uh -huh. uh, Here is the estimate of the damage. It comes to seventeen fifty-four. You had an opportunity to settle this thing for a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I tried to. Did you, like well, I said, you know, I the trying, is, you're not trying hard enough. So we're not talking about who's responsible here. You were responsible. The 1755 is, as I look at it, more than, it wasn't as if you had a newly painted, I mean, you know, they, they brought it back to as good as new. When I look at this miscellaneous stuff, that doesn't do anything for me. So I'm going to say $1,200 for the plaintiff. Uh, I feel like the plaintiff uh, ex tried to extort money out of me, honestly. Um, it started from $100, went up to 1700 and now we ended at 1200 so. And he just kept giving me the run around and the run around, so no, I think it's fair that I did bring him to court. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.